Welcome to Tuesday's edition of Take 5, where we take five minutes or so and look at a few verses of Scripture, hear what Christ has to say to us and to our lives, and we try to apply them to our lives. And yesterday we began a series that I called Inside Out. We're going to take a little while examining, really, in essence, the spiritual life, a life that is meant to live from the inside out. And so as, as we examine today, we're going to be in Matthew 15, looking at a couple of verses. Let me ask you a question first. Have you given anything up uh, for the new year? Have you, have you changed your eating habits? Have you said no carbs uh, for the next month? Have you, have you said um, low fat, um, no sugar? Those are all pretty good ideas. But have you ever wondered why um, diets just don't seem to work? Or you're on it for a while, and then as soon as you're off of it, you're back the same way. And uh, in many ways, the answer to that is the same answer that we're looking in this series called Inside Out, in that if you only change your habits, external, outside, and you don't change your urges, your inside, you'll never change. And in many ways, that's the Christian life. And so often, um, we try to live our spiritual lives, our Christianity, from the outside, just changing our habits. So if I change my habit in spending, then I'll be more self-disciplined uh, for a month. If I change my habit on what I watch on the computer screen, I'll change myself uh, for a month. It's the urges, it's the inside that has to change. And food is a good example because Jesus is actually going to use an example of food to teach this very thing. The religious people in Jesus' day were Pharisees. That's what they were called. And they had a, a zillion rules about everything, even including how you would eat. Listen to the passage. Matthew 15. Here's how it starts in verse 1. Jesus was approached by Pharisees and scribes from Jerusalem who asked him, why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? They don't wash their hands when they eat. That sounds familiar, isn't it? You didn't wash your hands. Could you imagine the Pharisees during COVID-19? They'd be going nuts right now. Anyways, they're looking at Jesus and his disciples and they said, wait a minute. Your followers, Jesus, are breaking the rules. They're not doing the right habits. They're not washing their hands the way they're supposed to wash them to be rightly religious. And Jesus basically is, is all over them and says, you don't do the right commandments either. And he mentions honoring your father and mother. And he, he basically looks at their lifestyle and he ends this way. He says, you are nullifying the word of God because of your traditions. And then he calls them hypocrites and quotes Isaiah um, by saying, you honor me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. Got it? You honor me with your lips. You say the right stuff. You do the right things. But on the inside, your heart is far from me. The spiritual life begins with the heart. The spiritual life begins with, yeah, how we think, how we feel on the inside. And then changing ourselves or the Spirit of God changing us on the inside will affect how we behave. So here's what he says. In verse 11, Jesus says, listen and understand this. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but what comes out of the mouth, this defiles a person. You got it? It's not your carbs. It's not the food that you eat. It's not the, the outside externals of your religion that make you a right person. It's what's on the inside. It's what comes out of your mouth. Have you ever gotten so angry about something and what came out of your mouth even surprised you? Like, where did that come from? Here's where it came from. It came from your heart. And that is what Christianity is after. It is after a change of, of all of us from the inside out. That's what the Spirit of God will do in our lives if we give Him access. That's what the Word of God can do as well. Not just to know it in our heads, but to take it in our hearts, in our souls, in our wills, and begin to change us from the inside out.
That's all I got for now. We'll continue this theme tomorrow. We're going to be in Romans chapter 8 tomorrow as we look at the ultimate goal of the Christian of our of our Christianity. I'll see you. Have a great Tuesday.